What's up guys, welcome back to another video. Hope you're all having a great day. So uh, going to my brother's house, what's new? Um, let's see here. So last week, if you guys watched that video, I made a pallet table and kind of did some other things. Uh, I picked up a nightstand for my aunt that she wanted me to paint. So got that repainted, that's done, it's in my garage. And uh, our table's been finished, that's actually in my house now. So uh, yeah. here at Matt's house. It's bright outside and uh, I think he just woke up. I don't know, he's, he's taking a little while to open the garage here. <laughs> What's up, Dean? All right, so Matt is working on printing something on the plasma table. So what I'm doing is making a crosscut sled for the table saw. Since I'm gonna be using it for my woodworking stuff, I'm probably gonna need to uh, crosscut some boards that my uh, miter saw isn't capable of cutting across all the way. So got this thing measured out to 24 inches, and then I'm gonna go ahead and screw this bar in on the bottom of it so it can slide in the table saw walls for it screw those in that way I have a fence that my piece can ride across and uh, we should be good so when Matt's got a free second here he's gonna help me cut this because I don't exactly have the most stable place to cut this huge piece so I'd rather just cut it straight The uh, part for the rail marked out, so I went ahead and marked, or uh, yeah, I marked the center line, and then I went ahead and marked the two outer lines too, just to make it easier for me to line that thing up in there and screw it in. Uh, for anybody who wants to make one of these, I'll put the dimensions and uh, pretty much everything you need to make it in the description. <music> Okay, so uh, it works pretty good, but the end's trying to lift up because it's not screwed down on this side, so I'm gonna drill a couple more holes, yeah, more holes in this uh, metal rail here, 
and then a couple more in the wood, screw it in, and we should be 100% good. So the height of the bushing was kind of messing with it. Um, it's not like perfectly flat against the bottom, like cause it's screwed in with five screws and not a ton of them. But anyways, whatever, I can't really make it more perfect. So I took the bushing out, it slides perfectly smooth in there. So all I need to do now is turn the saw on and actually make a cut through it. So I'm just gonna kind of increase the blade height a little bit at a time until I get it like a third of the way up the board probably. I'm gonna add a second rail to it just to make it a little more stable. So I think what I'm gonna do is just cut a strip of uh, MDF out and then countersink some holes into the back of it. That way I can screw it in and it'll sit flush. And uh, I think we'll be done here. The moment you've all been waiting for. It's finished. Cross cut sled complete. And yes, that's a bright red line that I drew, but whatever. So, got a wood rail or MDF rail and a metal one, but they both fit perfect. This thing doesn't have any play in it, and it slides smooth. What do you think of that, Matt? Oh, I'll do that one more time. This thing's gonna be so sick. So, explain how it works, because I haven't even showed them the table yet. So we got fold down arms. Yeah, so basically the table has a stationary centerpiece. The sides fold down like 12 inches. And this is going to go in between the, legs, the leg right? on either side. Get welded in so that the latch barely protrudes past the leg. So then the side arm's going to swing down, in. Hit the striker lock it in and then it won't move Ew. and then when you want to open it you just barely any effort i like the fact that you don't have to pull the thing to get the door to snap in like it just right. pops in there that's nice itself right in. So, so this side doesn't have a latch or anything set up but we have the hinges on there so when the table is folded up big sewing table and then when it comes down it'll come down and it'll latch in just like that piece all right, so I'm all finished up here. I uh, made a couple more cuts in it. I did a, obviously a straight cut, a 45 and a 30 degree cut. And the 30 degree cut is because I wanted to make like a 3D style cutting board. So uh, I put a little fake, or not fake, put like a sacrificial stop block in there with the screw just to test it out, put it at 30 degrees. Cut out three parallelograms that are all identical. But since they're at a 30 degree angle, flip these guys to make like the little chevron symbol and you put the last one in there and you have a hexagon so ideally I would like to get like three types of hardwood that like complement each other like maple cherry walnut in a circle around it do a bunch of these that are exactly the same and then mash them together all facing the same direction and do a second glue up and then I would cut like a cutting board out of that big square Anyways guys, if you enjoyed the video, drop a like. If you're enjoying like the woodworking stuff, uh, let me know in the comments if you want to see more of that or if you miss my car. Um, yeah, anyways, uh, if you haven't subscribed, do that. And uh, if you want to see my videos when I actually post them, click that little bell button. And I'll see you guys next week. Hope you all have a great one. And uh, Matt, any words for the people? Uh... I know you want to say it, dude. Thank <laughs> you.